Hey guys, FirstHamonHD here, and welcome guys to No Man's Sky, or welcome back guys. Uh, episode 2, and uh, yeah, we were 12 minutes in, which doesn't make any sense really. I don't think I'm 12 minutes in, I think uh, I'm a bit more, but yeah, we started off on a frozen planet. I think we got our ship pretty much 100% done, and now we can actually explore our cosmos that we're in. I hope maybe maybe this video we might actually get to the space station. We might do more of the storyline this episode, and then the next episode will be us exploring. Um, because the storyline, you kind of have to progress the storyline to get the like exocraft and vehicles, and that's what I want as soon as possible. Because oh here here we go. Um, here's our beautiful planet. Uh, yeah, it's negative seventy seven on this planet. I hate that. Also, guys, I have decided to actually do first person. So I really like how first person is, and uh, I just prefer it a lot better. Okay, these are all unidentified plants. I haven't identified anything. Okay, what do we have? Um, is our ship built? Oh yeah, we had to go to the signal, which is all the way over there, guys. Okay. Off we go. Um, do we need carbon? I'm confused here. Yes, I do need carbon. I'll just chop down this tree. Actually, I'll, I'll analyze the tree just because. But yeah, we're going to go to this base. That's somewhere over here. How big is this tree? Jeez. I'm gonna get a lot of carbon from this, aren't I? Jeez. I hope. I got 80 carbon from that. Yep. I'll, uh, I'll take that. So yeah, while off screen, guys, you are probably wondering. I have been playing, uh, like a separate world. What is this? Oh, it's like a cabbage or something. Um, I've put 30 I put a total of I've put a total of 60 hours into this game so uh, I'm kind of used to stuff but I'm still haven't uh, haven't seen everything in the game so yeah have not seen everything Wow are we on a cliff oh my goodness Wow like we're at the very top it's kind of cool any creatures oh I know you I'm gonna definitely name you Slap Me Plant or Slap You Plant. Because I hate those plants, they slap you in the face. Okay, let's get over here. I also learned, uh, looked up that. The, uh, I didn't actually know what that is. What the heck is that? Uh, there's an, ar there's an alien artifact on the other side of that. Oh no, there's an incoming blizzard. I don't appreciate incoming blizzards. No. It's already negative 78. How much colder could it possibly get on this planet? Seriously. How much colder could it get on this planet? We're not going to be able to see our... Ow! Ooh, that hurt. Ow! Okay. Yikes, I'm getting whipped around here. Oh, it's getting cold. Oh, okay. Chilly. Chilly much. A balmy negative 112 and look at that oh i love that i like the effects in this game it's like see that look how realistic that is like if i saw a blizzard i would actually experience this and actually snow gets on all the plants i think so that's kind of cool i gotta get i can't see anything negative 150 oh and that's in fahrenheit that's cold that's really cold let me get to this base and Cool off at least. I want to get a. Uh, I want to like find. Their, they've added new base building mechanics into the game since I did my last video. So there's now underwater bases. So that's interesting. Get me in here. Thank you. Whoo! Oh man, I'm cold. Jeez, that's not a fun thing. Ooh, nano clusters. Oh, access archive. Uh, entry follows. Making the record in case leave behind. Kaza uh, is a fabricator. Might need the use of some. Visor damaged. Can't find ship. Recover supplies. The log finishes in the machine. Where's the life spitting out supplies? The hermetic seal I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here. Whoever left this message. Perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do. Well, no, duh. Yes, thank goodness it's clearing. Because I'm not going back out there. It is chilly. Actually, for... In here, it doesn't look that chilly. But then you open the... Oh! The storm's actually pretty much gone. Oh. Anything in here? Oh, there is. There's a 
check stock transfer. Whoa, I got a thousand units for that? Okay, I'm gonna be finding more of those on my adventures. Uh, right now, guys, we don't have much money. I think we have 4,000 units to zero nanite clusters, so, uh, yeah. Uh, let's, where's my ship? Okay, my ship's way over there. Off we go. Now, interesting sky color. It's, it's yellow, and there's a planet over there, which kind of makes it weird why the sky is yellow. I hear an animal. Oh! It's like a... I'm not even sure what you call it. A weird goat-like creature. Okay, let's continue. Um, I'm actually going to go to this rune that's over here. It says there's a rune over here. or a, I, oh, I don't want to fall. Quick and easy units. Always scan stuff, guys. You make bank off of just scanning things. What is that? Uranium. Okay, we need your Actually, we need uranium for our ship, so... I will gladly sit here and try to mine this, because this will give us enough uranium for probably the good majority of space travel. I wish I had a better laser. Hopefully we come across a kind soul that gives me one, but at the point- at this moment, we don't have one. I don't know how much uranium I'm gonna get from this. It's even colder right now, just- it dropped like a few degrees. Oh, I overheated, dang it. Weapon charge depleted. Oh yeah, we need that, I forgot. Here we go, come on, we're nearly there. That's 220 uranium. That's decent. I think it only requires 40 uranium for whatever it is. Where's the rune? Oh, you're a new creature. Oh, you got like antlers. Interesting. Weird. It said it was over here. So, oh, I think it was this. I was saying maybe. I don't know. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Rusted metal. Sure. Not sure how that's gonna help me, but I'll see a bunch of stuff. Just to get units. See, we get like 200 units for that. I do wonder if that's a mineral, if that's just, that's just a rock. I guess that's just a rock. It said there was a uh, thingy. Where was it? It said there it was somewhere over here. Oh, there it is. No, it says it's 260 away. What is this? This is evil. We're heading to our ship, so that'll be good. Okay, let's... Oh, no, we're not heading to our ship. We're heading really far away. Oh, look at that. It just procedurally spawned in front of our eyes. I do actually wonder, guys, um, I've watched some people's videos, and it looks like they're, like, when they play the game, everything's already rendered in for them. But for me, like, you can see it's, like, maybe 20 feet in front of me, everything starts to render in. So if you can tell me how to fix that so, like, it's already rendered in. The stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. A small alien life form kneels before me. They are tired, beaten, without meeting my gaze. They offer up their hand. I will accept knowledge. The name Gek floats in my vision, an echo of the strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. Okay, we got the Gek word for live. Nice. Where's my ship? Actually, where is my ship? <laughs> Hello? Oh, my ship's way over there. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, come on. How do I bet? How have I not identified any of this? Thermal protection. Okay, there we go. Ow! Ah, it's one of those plants. Typical plants. Another tree to identify? I've never seen this one before. I can't really tell what it is. What kind of tree it is, but... Get up here.
Also, guys, if you are wondering why, like, some of the ground in this game, uh, is, it's not really visible on this planet, but you'll see, like, on the wood, um, how, like, the, the texture almost seems 3D. It's because I have tessellation on, I think. Uh, if you go to options and then graphics, this terrain quality, and then you go to terrain tessellation, it just gives it a more of immersion feel to the game, which I like better than the flat, lifeless, uh, look that it usually does. On some planets it looks better, like on this one it doesn't look that good because of course it's a snow-covered planet and snow-covered planets really, I mean, it's snowy, so you're not gonna get much from that. Is this like a geode? What is this? This is kinda cool. Yeah, it's like a geode, it's like an avocado, a stone avocado <laughs> with the pit out of it. Oh, that's kinda cool. Okay, now that we have the hermetic seal we can actually fix our ship, finally. Yeah, I know that. Come on. Allow me to hermetic seal. Yay, there we go. We fixed our ship. And now I think it's got to update. I don't know how long that will take. Will it realize? Maybe it won't. I don't know. Come on. Update the mission quota. I think we have to get back in maybe. Uh, okay, can I just launch? Hey, there we go, we're up, up, and away. Okay, while we're in our ship, um, let's see, I don't see anything. Ooh, these controls are funky. Um, I love the look of this planet. Oh, it says I'm gonna run out of fuel. Actually, we have our uranium, don't we? Oh, we don't have any pulse engine fuel. So let's blast, blast off toward these planets. Actually, let's go to the space station first. That's like the first thing is like we can save. Well, whoa. This is a yellow system? Whoa, this is cool, guys. Like, I've actually never seen a yellow system like this. This is pretty, uh, pretty insane, actually. I'm gonna snap a photo of this. Dude, that is... Killer. Okay, so now I can see. Uh, this planet below us. I'm not actually sure what planet is. Then there's two more, and I don't see any actually other planets. Okay. Okay, so the space station's there in two hours. Let's scan this unknown planet here. Let's see what it is. What do we have? A high temperature planet. Okay, that could be good and bad. And then we have an unknown planet here. Please be a water planet. I need a water planet. This is an incoming transmission. Oh wait, even oh I just scanned. I think I just okay, let's scan this planet. And a contaminated planet. Okay. Actually, let's how many okay, that's three planets. This is this is only a body system of three? Let's see. Yep, three planets and one moon. Wait, three planets and one moon. I haven't found all of them. I guess there's a there's a moon on one of these planets. Uh let's actually this, we got a transmission coming in, and I forgot how to do stuff. Okay, here we go. Incoming transmission source. Please identify yourself. I'm Kazutka. I don't know how you say that. Let's identify ourselves. You are not Kazut alone. Follow the whatever. Um, the broadcast ends as strangers as it began. The final place piece of the signal appears to be set of planetary coordinates. Uh... Oh, sweet. Okay, actually, while we're... Can I warp? It's gonna take 39 seconds, so actually, let's go to our... I'd like to go to the galaxy map here. Let's see where we are. Okay, which one has the moon? Okay, the large planet that we came from has the moon. The, the two other planets don't, so... We'll have to find that moon. Um... And now let's see actually where we're located in the galaxy. The cosmos. Can I not go any farther than this? Oh, I can. I can go lots farther than this. We are, to be exact. Oh my gosh. This is this just shows you how big this place this thing is, like seriously. We're that far. 
Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? What in the world? Oh my gosh, this is absurd. But it shows we're on the outside of the solar system. How am I... What? Wait a minute. I'm so confused right now. How do I... I want to be like... I want to see the outskirts of this galaxy. Can, can you not do that right now? Like... Is that serious? It shows where your location is, but like... This is a joke, right? What on earth? Usually it would show the entire galaxy before, I think. But now you can't even do that. Oh, we're getting to the outs the outskirts, guys. We're getting to the outskirts. I think. Boom. There we go. What the heck? Whoa. Now we're off the map. But I'm so confused right now. Usually it would see, like, we're in an area where you can't actually see anything. Which is a little bit strange. Uh, okay. But it'll take us back to where we were. So there, there, there's a lot of planets, guys. A lot. Um, let's go back. How do I go? How do I exit? Oh, M. Okay. Gotcha. And we are still traveling, um, 35 seconds to this planet. So this planet's really, really far away. It's called Hoha Carl. Hoha Carl. We're gonna be changing the name of that, of course. Wow, this is, this is long. <laughs> so, uh, most of this video will be probably me warping from planet to planet. I may cut it a little, just a little, but the immersion, it's all about the immersion, guys. This is like actual space time. Like, if you were to warp in a spaceship, it would actually take you that many seconds. It would take me two hours to fly that planet, which is kind of the cool part, I gotta say. Man, this, this gotta be a, I think this is a pretty big planet now that I'm looking at it. But I'm heading towards the space station. Oh yeah, we're coming up to the space station right now. It's yellow. Boom, there it is. And there's the lemon of a space station. <laughs> How do I get in? Oh, the front entrance is right here. There's the next planet, guys. Um, but we're gonna take a nice look. Oh, oops. Oops. We're gonna take a little uh, peek in the space station, see what if they've changed anything recently. Uh, Renula Vosi X V I I I Orbit. Jeez, complex names. Okay, we're out. Nothing, nothing too special. This is my ship. Okay, let's see. Let's go up here. Anything? Oh, okay. Big difference. There was never this much space. Usually it was just like walkways, like one thing, and that's it. They've added quite a few things. Now, let's go to the terminal here. I think this is, a, yep, this is the terminal. Okay. Sell items. Oh, we can sell stuff. Okay. Well, we're not going to sell anything right now because, well, we don't have anything. We do have frost crystals, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell that one frost crystal we had. Yeah, there's nothing else. Okay. Interesting. Um, can we buy stuff from these terminals? Have they added stuff? Let's see, buy. Ooh, nanotube crate. What does that mean? A packed crate of carbon nanotubes. These tiny but incredibly strong are required to construct a tiny but strong tiny of a compound. Ah, sorry if you can hear me. I just literally was rambling. Self-repairing heridium, optical solvent, technology modules. So it looks like technology modules at this one you don't get a lot of money it's plus 11.6 uh, so it's actually worse to buy them from here cover nanotubes gold salt 
Uh, any new things? Okay, I don't see anything new, per se, but, uh, let's go check out this terminal. Interesting. Oh, wait. Is this E? I can search. Ooh, I got more dite. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can actually search these, uh, square plants to get resources. I guess that's one, one good thing. Let's talk to these guys. Gek. Uh, I can't understand you because I haven't found enough knowledge stones. Pack said my multi, leaving a faint trace of jewel, and it made their eyes open. Rec oh. Uh, let's go ask for directions. The place of interest. Oh, signal detected. Sweet. Okay. Uh, okay, don't understand you. Let's see. Let's go ask for directions. Okay, trading post. Nice. These guys are crazy. Look at this guy. Man, he's got some crazy uh, horns there. Really colorful. I've never actually seen an in-game character like this. So colorful. Uh, the trader stores an advisor and clicks in my time of breathing. I can only assume that this is supposed to make me feel welcome. Um, I'm going to go ask for directions. Okay, looks like he found something. Oh, drop pod. That's new. That's... This guy looks like a bird. He's got like a metal beak. Uh, the trader indicates that they're open for conversation. Duh, 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 duh. We're just going to keep... Oh, I can't. Oh, I got to request help. I got... All I can do is request dialect help. I was thinking I could barter, but I've, l I've learned the word, geck word for hi. Uh, let's see. Can't understand these guys. Reassure panic. Let's go reassure. Nothing I do comes a geck there. Okay. That's not good. Let's talk to this dude. Uh, let's see. Let's go barter. Let's see what he does. What does he do with that? Research on the hyper accepts my offer and gives me a package in return. Gek relic. What is that? Oh, okay. You're worth twenty-three thousand. Gonna sell you immediately, probably. Um. Some guys over here. Let's talk to these guys. Uh, still don't understand you. I know that. Let's go barter again. Let's see if he gives me anything. Okay, he's happy. He's happy, guys. We made him happy. What did he give me? Ooh, he gave me another Gek Relic. Oh, nice. Okay, we're, make we're making money, guys, right now. We're making Kachang. Okay, um, let's see. Can I barter with you? Ooh, offer a gift. Let's go offer a gift. What's he do? You're standing with a Gek has increased. Oh, I wasn't... Oh, I just wasted 23,000 units for better standings okay let's see do, 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 has been eyeing me a car da, 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 da. can I oh I can borrow to you Ooh, unstable plasma what is that oh you're okay it's not worth that much but it's a plasma charger relauncher so that's actually kind of valuable let's stick that there I salt uh, portable refiner so I think I've talked to all of them over here. I'm gonna sell this uh, Gek charm. So I do know if you have anything valuable on you, you could be invaded by pirates, which I don't really want at this point in time. I have salt. Where did I, when did I get? When did I get salt? I guess salt's pretty valuable. Is salt? How much is? I don't know if salt a commodity on this planet, this solar system. Look at this, there's an entire another side to this planet. I have not seen many ships come in here. I think I saw that one ship. It looks like a fighter too, but... We're definitely going to want to get a new ship sometime in the fee near future. Oh yeah, we can change our appearance here, guys. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Okay, let's see. Technology merchant. The creature offers me the sniff. Uh, let's go. Ooh, we can trade nanite clusters. We don't have any nanite clusters, but we can get some pretty cool. Ooh, okay, okay. We'll we'll, we'll be back to this dude. Um, ooh, how much is this XOC upgrade? Uh, it's five thousand units. Sure, why not? We get an extra. We get an extra space to store stuff. It's definitely worth it. Oh, this is a technology merchant. This is where we get our vehicles. Maybe is this where you know, we get our vehicles? Let's see. Oh no, this is where we get stuff for the mining. So like the Tethabeam, the Nautilon Cannon, the Osmosis Generator. Okay, gotcha. 
So this is where we go to get our vehicles. Mmm, nice. Okay, I don't know what you are. Okay, your ship upgrades. Ooh. Oh, weapon. Probably worth a fortune. Oh, 603,000 units. Yeah. Yikes. That's a lot of money, but it is better, but maybe we'll come back. We might come back to this dude. Um, I think you're a technology merchant, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, the creature offering these blueprints. Okay, so nanite clusters are very important, I guess. Oh yeah, so we can get a combat scope, geology cannon, terrain dirt. Okay, nice. Okay, gotcha. That makes a whole lot of sense. Oh wow, there's more. Wow, okay. Let's talk to this guy. Can we barter with him? Maybe get some cool stuff? Yeah, we can. Let's do that. Unstable. Oh, we got another unstable plasma. Sweet. We're racking up the unstable plasmas, which I don't even have. I have no use for, really. Oh, there are runway breaks. There's a deep gurgle in the gym. It's a gas packet that smells delightful. Ooh. Um, I'm going to go thank with metal. Oh, he gave me 19 nano clusters. That's kind of you. Oh, what's over here? What do we need? Oh, you mean, oh, you need an Alice Pass version 3. Oh, gosh, that's kind of expensive. Search there, what did I get? Oh, I got a journey milestone, yay. I don't know what it is. What is it? Oh, no, okay, I met 10 aliens. Let's just skip all that. I'm not actually sure, is that salt? Oh, no, it's cobalt, okay. There's a lot of these. Okay, I think we got enough. We got some cobalt and salt, which is kind of worth... Okay, this is trippy, because that's like... I should be falling, right? I guess there's glass here. This must be a very empty system. Let's see, wait. Actually, I'm going to check just before. What kind of system is this? Medium supply, metal processing, conflict level, untroubled. Okay, that makes sense. So, there isn't going to be a lot of cool ships, or very little ships in general. So, uh... We're going to end it there, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode of me playing some No Man's Sky. And uh, next video, we're going to go check out the signal source. And I don't know. We'll see what we do. You know, the game really doesn't have a plot. Well, it does have a plot. We'll, we'll probably do that. But you kind of just explore what you want to explore. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to subscribe to the channel you can just hit that subscribe button guys It'd be greatly appreciated and uh, i'll see you in the next video of your man sky